you will never regret listening to this particular message. Join us as we explore together. What exactly is divination? It is the act of obtaining secrets of illegitimate knowledge of the future by methods unsanctioned by God. If you access spiritual knowledge, maybe futuristic knowledge, maybe an insight that is needed to explain a certain circumstance or a certain situation. Someone dies and you want to find out why the person died. That knowledge that you are accessing is illegitimate. And when people apply their soul to access such knowledge that comes through divination, what you have done is that you have sought from Satan such things that you should only seek from God and in the process of that seeking that alignment you unconsciously make Satan your God now the issue of the operation of the spirit of Balaam and his attempt to override the presence and the person of the Holy Spirit in the body of Christ is a critical issue especially now because there is about to be a mighty move of God and Satan himself is aware of the potential of that move. So what he did is that he went beforehand to plant false prophets on the continent of Africa majorly. Because that's one of the platforms that God will use as his, the launching pad for his initiative. So there is this acquaintance so many people have been exposed to the transmissions that have come through these instruments that have been planted by the devil. If a man seeks knowledge from a spirit other than the spirit of God, what he has done is that he has enthroned the influence of that spirit over his soul. He has, he has indirectly Given that spirit access and authority over his life, he has made that spirit to become his God. So even if a false prophet stands and begins to minister, you are not aware that it's false. But you believe in what he is saying, you accept his ministry. What you have done is that you have enthroned the spirit that he is a mouthpiece to. All right? to influence your life as though that spirit were your God. Now, if we study ancient Israel and the instructions and commandments that God gave about false prophets, you will see that one of the things that can sway the people of God away from alignment with God is this strategy of the devil to bring soothsayers that use spirits of the divination and to masquerade as prophets. Right now, there is an infiltration of this movement, this kind of initiative that was bettered by the kingdom of darkness. There's a massive infiltration in Nigeria here. And it is even more likely in other nations of Africa. As much as we need to take the gospel to places that the gospel has not arrived, we are going to have a shortfall in missionary manpower if the people that are in the body of Christ are swayed by the spirit of divination. Their heart will be turned to follow false gods and they will no longer have the capacity to carry the original pure burden of the law. Satan has a plan to orchestrate a shortfall in missionary manpower. But I pray that God will do a quick walk in our midst in the name of Jesus. Divination is that arm of the kingdom of darkness that holds in store demonic spiritual knowledge. Witchcraft 
so divination equals knowledge it is it is an avenue through which spiritual knowledge from the dark realm can be acquired so divination equals what knowledge is the access to spiritual knowledge it holds the treasure of spiritual knowledge and so if people need spiritual knowledge through a spirit of error it will be achieved by divination one of the reasons why you find human beings seeking the devil is because they have a need for knowledge so one of the products that satan advertises in getting the attention of human beings is to show them the hope of accessing strategic knowledge that is available in the kingdom of darkness the agency of the kingdom of darkness that is responsible for veiling that dimension that product that is in the kingdom of darkness is called divination whereas divination deals with spiritual knowledge witchcraft deals with spiritual power you see the power uh, is the ability to perform to do work and the power of darkness which is the ability of darkness to perform to cause changes is held up in the satanic department called witchcraft are you are you still with me you are not with me now this is what jesus said i want to take it gradually so that we will follow the progression seamlessly this is what jesus said he said behold i believe that's luke chapter 10 verse 19 if you have luke 10 19 you can display it on the screen he said behold i give unto you power to tread on serpent now that's a metaphor that doesn't necessarily mean physical serpent even if you tread on a physical serpent it will not translate to profit in the kingdom of god hallelujah <laughs> so i'm just trying to reveal to us that it is a metaphor that jesus used and i need to unveil to us the meaning of this metaphor because as we press you will find out that serpent in this scripture is referring to divination divination how many of you believe that the new testament was originally written in greek language i know we are theologians here so you can confirm that if you go to the book of acts chapter 16 where the word divination is mentioned and you trace it using the pilot number in your lexicon to find out the original greek word that was used to translate divination in english language somebody's tried you will find python and that is the greek word that was translated python are you there with me so when we talk about serpents we are actually referring to people that use the strategic knowledge that have come through divination oh my god you're not here jesus is saying that as you go around Enugu city as you go around the villages you will collide with people that have links with divination he said without fail this is what you will collide with it is because of this collision that you cannot avoid that you need power to prosecute natural life in the eyes of jesus in the eyes of jesus in order for you to prosecute natural life you need power not for crusade not for evangelism to live to live your life oh my god you need power to be able to prosecute natural life because as you are going around enugu you will find people that have been energized by the knowledge that came through divination if you want to walk in any parastatal of government you will meet with people that have been advised by diviners and this is what jesus is saying in order for you to prosecute natural life you need an installment of spiritual capital may the lord give you understanding so when we talk divination don't 
think it is something we need to go to the library to understand. It is something that is rooted in your city, in my city. And for this, God equips us with the spiritual capital of power to prosecute natural life and to accomplish the mission that he's sending us to accomplish. Welcome to Apostolic Sermons TV. On this channel, you're going to be getting soul lifting messages, prayers that will help you grow and mature spiritually. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video you're about to watch, and comment also. Thank you and stay blessed.